Oh, Mum, that's disgusting. Oh, Jason, you need a drink. Yeah, OK, I'll get you one. No, it's all right. I'll get out of mine. I said I'll get you one. <laughs> get off. What are you doing? <laughs> I'll get it. Get... Well, well, well. Now this is a surprise. Oops. Coronation Street continues in half an hour. Yeah, right, so them, them shells, they seem okay, yeah? What? Please. Aren't you meant to be at school? Aren't you meant to be inspecting Violet's shelves? She's your girlfriend, isn't she? Yeah, but well, it's a bit more complicated than that. What, my sister getting a kit off for some builder? Seems pretty straightforward to me. Shut up, David! Now, shutting up could prove more complicated. And what's that meant to mean? Oh, take no notice of him. One squid goes straight to his head. Look, mate, me and Sarah, we're just mates, aren't we? We are so not! You're very bad role models, you two, aren't you? I'm at an impressionable age. I'll make an impression on your face in a minute. Mind your own flaming business. This is my business, Jason. You're skyping work, which technically means you're stealing from me, Gran. You say one word to Gran and I will kill you. You will be technically dead. All I'm going to say to the interested pies is that you two, you're just mates. Semi-naked mates. You stay away from Violet, right? Well, I would do if I had some spends. You go blabbing to Gran and I'll tell Mum about the skiving and the drinking. So? So? She's already been down to your school once this month already. She's gonna ground you for weeks and nag you to within an inch of your life. Oh, all those cold, long winter nights bunched up on the sofa with Big Phil and Little Gail. He's going to keep his mouth shut, right? <laughs> 